Today I'd like to tie for you a beadhead turkey flat nymph. Look I have in the vise is a 2457. This is a size 10. This is too extra heavy, too extra wide, and too extra short. From Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I have a 3 millimeter bead on there already. I'm going to take lead free 15 thousandths wire and I'm going to put wire on about half of this. And we're going to push that inside. And I'm going to give that a couple more wraps before I pull that back off. And then pull that back off. The thread I'm going to use is 140 denier. This is 6 op. And it's a dark copper color going to start the thread behind the lead wraps and then I'm going to go over the lead wraps. Remove our excess. I'm going to take my spool, being that this is big thread, I'm going to spin it counterclockwise so that it will flatten out. Take all of the twist out of it. And I'm going to wrap the lead further. And with the twist out of it, you'll get better coverage of the lead wraps when it's flat. And you can see the twist in it now. That's because every time you make a wrap, it twists once. I'm going to bring the thread down about halfway. I'm going to take the turkey flat feathers. And you can see that iridescence on them. We're going to take first a piece for our tail. It's a good idea to get rid of the marabou section of it. I'm going to take a small section for our tail and just about six or eight barbels will be fine. I'm going to make our tail just about the length of the body. And we're going to tie that in. You can even give it a wrap underneath to lift it up a little bit. And we can remove the excess. Now for the rib I have a stretch cord and I'm using one half of the diameter. This will split apart just like rubber legs. And I colored it tan. And we're going to tie that rib in and make sure it's on the side. And get a wrap underneath that tail once again. There we go. For the shell back on the abdomen, I'm going to take that turkey flat and I'm going to take a large piece of it, maybe three quarters of an inch wide. I'm going to tie that in. Then bring that back to the tail. And I'm just going to wrap the remainder up the shank. It's a good idea if you start with this turkey flat a little bit on your side of the shank because when you start wrapping the rib it's going to pull it over. Now for the underbody I have gold hairs here and I pull this right off the hairs here itself and I'm going to Wax up my thread. And dub, dub my noodle. And 
Now we're going to see how far that's going to take me. I said before, I think the key to tying nymphs is to make them two different colors, having the back darker and the bottom lighter. And once we get the abdomen dubbed, we're going to take that turkey flat and fold it over. And we're going to tie that in. I'm going to take my rib and we're going to wind this. I'm going to pull this pretty tight. Nice thing about stretch cord. It pulls nice and tight for you. And we're going to come up to the thorax with that. And then we can tie that all down. Now we can get rid of the excess. And bring the thread back to the back of the thorax. Take a little piece of Velcro and pull some of that hair out of there. Now for the wing case, I'm going to take that turkey flat with that, all that iridescent on it. We're going to tie that in, tying with the iridescent down. And I got one little piece I got to get rid of there. Leave the tips sticking out forward and we will use them for legs. I'm going to take more of the gold hairs here. And this one I'm going to put on heavier. I'm going to take the legs and I'm going to split them. Now I have them split off to the side. I'm just going to pull them back now. So that they're going in the rearward direction. Take our wing case. And fold that over. Try to keep it as flat as you can. Secure that, pick it up, put a few wraps in front, and trim that off nice and close. And then tie down the rest. You can make a little band of thread there. It's almost the same color as the copper. Take our whip finisher. Secure it. I'm going to take my Velcro here a little bit. Got a big tuft of
Put some head cement on that. You can put a little bit of head cement on the wing case. And here we have a bead head turkey flat. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.